Episode 7. Today was Saturday, which also is Suhu's birthday. Seeun and Yangi prepared everything to surprise Suhu. Bong Suk tried to call Suhu on phone to ask him to meet him, but Suhu didn't answer his call. Bong Suk sent some messages to Yang Yi. He said that he wanted to meet Yang Yi to give Suhu a birthday gift. Bong Suk told Yang Yi not to tell anyone about it because he wanted to surprise Suhu. Yang Yi didn't tell Seeun and Suhu that she went out to meet Bong Suk. At first, Bong Suk was being nice to her, but suddenly he smiled because his plan worked out. <laughs> He planned to take Yang Yi as a hostage so Suhu would come to meet him. Si Yun and Suhu were waiting for Yang Yi who still hadn't returned. Si Yun accidentally saw Suhu's phone in which he received some messages from Bum Suk. Bum Suk sent an address for Suhu to come and meet him. He also said that he had taken Yang Yi as his hostage. Si Yun realized that Yang Yi was trapped by Bum Suk. Sian replied Bum Suk's messages by saying that he would come there. After that, he deleted the chat and told Suhu that he would go outside. He didn't want Suhu to know anything about it. Siyun came to Bum Suk's location alone with a wrench in his hand. Shuna. Everybody was surprised to see Siyun instead of Suhu. After Siyun found Yang Yi, he asked her to run away with him quickly. <laughs> Siyun fought Yang Chan and his friends with the wrench he brought with him. Meanwhile, Yang Yi called the police. Young Bin was glad to see Si Yun because he wanted to take revenge on him, but he was still unable to defeat Si Yun. <laughs> si Yun took a crowbar and wanted to fight all of them with it. But suddenly Wei Young came and attacked Si Yun. Si Yun was unable to fight Wei Young back even though he had a crowbar. Young Bin wanted to use this moment to attack Si Yun. Bum Suk tried to stop him and told him that Si Yun had nothing to do with them. Bum Suk said he didn't hold grudges against Si Yun. Young Bin didn't care about what he said because it wasn't only about Su Hu, but also about his personal grudges for Si Yun. Eventually, Si Yun who had been lying weakly on the ground was beaten up relentlessly by Young Bin. Young Bin's friends joined Young Bin to attack him. It was too painful for Bum Suk to watch it so he left that place. Wu <laughs> Young asked Bum Suk to reschedule his meeting with Su Hu. He also asked him to transfer the money to him because he had defeated one person. Bum Suk didn't even ask him to beat up Si Yun. The sound of siren from police car was heard. All of them ran away immediately from that place, except Si Yun who was lying weakly on the ground. Su just realized that he had slept. He found that his friends still hadn't returned to his birthday party. Si Yun was taken to an ambulance by the policeman who came to that place. Young Yi told the policeman about what had happened. Suddenly, Si Yun woke up from his sleep. He told the policeman that he was all alone and it was only an accident. He also told Yang Yi not to tell Su anything about this incident. Siyun called Bum Suk on phone to warn him to stop what he was doing. Siyun had to be hospitalized because of that incident. 
He remembered when his father and his mother got into an argument when he was a child. Apparently, his father didn't want Sian in his life. Sian was mad at him when he found out about it. He didn't like his father since then. <laughs> He still didn't like him even though he lived with his father now. Sian didn't tell his father about the truth of the incident last night. He just told him that he fell from a staircase. But his father knew that Sian got into a fight with other students. He grew impatient with him and scolded him for behaving recklessly. Suddenly... <laughs> He got quiet after Sian told him about his feelings. At home, Bum Suk was mad at himself. Because of him, Sian had to endure violent attacks from Young Ben's group. He stayed in his room and refused to go to school. Because of that, his father sent someone to watch over him. He planned to transfer Bum Suk to a school in Philippine. Su still attended school like usual. He was clueless about what had happened, but he sensed that there was something wrong because Siyun disappeared and didn't attend school. He also didn't see Bum Suk at school anymore. Su Hu tried to call Siyun on phone, but Siyun didn't answer his call. Siyun told Su Hu that he didn't attend school because he had a family problem. Su Hu asked Yang Yi why Yang Yi and Siyun didn't return to his birthday party. Yang Yi didn't answer his question. She only apologized to him. Su Hu came to Siyun's house, but there was nobody there. He was heading home while wondering about what was actually happening. Finally, Su Hu asked Jin Chan and Taehan about where Bum Suk was because he had no option. They told him that they didn't know where Bum Suk was because they were unable to contact him. Su Hu said that he wanted Bum Suk to give him some money to fix his motorcycle that had been damaged by Bum Suk. They were surprised that Su Hu knew that Bum Suk was the one who damaged it. So, they asked him how he found out about that. Yung Chan's group was talking about Si Yun who didn't attend school because of what they had done that night. Su Hu heard about their conversation. Finally, Su Hu beat them up and asked them to tell him about what happened to Si Yun that night. Because Yung Chan couldn't take his beating anymore, he told Su Hu everything about what had happened that night. <laughs> Oh, 